Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be number three in my Finding the Foundation series. Long story short, if this is your first video that you're watching, uh, number one, check out my other videos. But number two, I recently got engaged and I am on the hunt for the perfect foundation for my wedding. So I basically started this series where I'm trying a bunch of different foundations, just testing them out, just to kind of narrow down what I'm gonna wear for that day. So to, and I'll link the first two videos below if you haven't seen those. But today's video is going to be on the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. So I am so excited to, to be trying this. This is in the shade 126 Medium Tan. So this is like a warm, warm undertone foundation. So I feel like this will be a pretty decent match, hopefully. I am going to mix it with a moisturizer just because for my wedding day I'm actually going for a very natural skin like finish so there's a really good chance I'm gonna mix moisturizer in on the big day so I just feel like it's appropriate to try it with the moisturizer I'm gonna use so this is my favorite moisturizer this is by Obagi and it is their hydrate moisturizer if you haven't tried this or anything from the brand I highly recommend it um, yeah, they're great. So I'm going to mix these two in. I'm also going to do a primer just because, and today I'm going to be using the Fenty. Um, this is the new one, the hydrating primer. So I'm going to do a decent amount of that. I love this stuff. Actually, that's a lot. I did four pumps, but it's so good. This too, if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend doing so. This is so nice. It feels like a moisturizer, honestly. It's just glides on the skin. Okay, now I'm going to mix the foundation with the moisturizer. I think I'll do about that much. So I uh, got the Dose of Colors sponge to go with it. I just figured while I was trying the foundation, I might as well give the sponge a fair shot as well. Okay, so I have that much on there still. I think I'm just going to, well, let me add a little bit more. I'm going to start with that. And I'm just going to use the bottom part of the sponge. So at first glance, this is going on quite nicely. I did that side. Let me blend this in so I can see. I think the color is working quite well. That's good. I'm like breaking out. Oh well. This is nice. I'm going to put a little bit more where I'm breaking out just to see if it's like buildable. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. And I am going to use the shade medium 39. So it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I'm just going to take it on my finger. And this will just brighten a little bit. If 
if you hear creaking, I'm sorry, I'm in a downstairs apartment and there is somebody <laughs> above me. That's what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna put some right here. Oh, that's loud. Put a little bit. A little bit right here. And then down here, just to kind of even out the brightness. A little bit more. Okay, you guys, so I am done with the initial application of the foundation and the concealer. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Finish my makeup. Adjusting. Sorry. Yes. Getting into the foundation, the rest of this review. And of course, everything I'm wearing, I'll put in the description box. So if you have any questions, just check that. Now, I did double check this foundation is described as having a natural matte finish you get one fluid ounce and it retails for $36 so those are just the basics the color I feel like the color is fine I feel like this can work they actually have a good amount of colors so I, I feel confident that most people hopefully can find a color that matches them now the feel I do think it works this foundation works mixing in a moisturizer it does work you can make it work my only suggestion is or I guess my only thought is that after mixing it with a moisturizer I definitely am more aware of the changed texture I just think that I whereas this looks okay like I'm looking at it and I'm fine with how it looks I'm just very aware of it it doesn't feel amazing so I think if I did this again I would need to powder my whole face which is again not a problem <clears throat> but my only thought about that is for my wedding day again I've mentioned it before in, in my other videos that I really am going for a very natural skin like finish <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me I'm going for a natural skin like finish so I really don't want to have to powder my entire face. I just want to powder the very, you know, whatever is necessary. But once I mix these two, now my whole face, it's necessary to powder my whole face. So that's the only drawback. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good foundation. I don't regret buying it. I know I'm going to wear it again in the future. But because of... The fact that I would need to powder my entire face, this is number three. On our Finding the Foundation series, this is at the bottom. But only for that reason. Nothing else is wrong with it. It's fine. I would definitely still recommend, you know, people to, to purchase it. I think it's a really good foundation. I just think that because I'm going for a very specific look on that day, there are just others that are going to work better. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, more to come, of course, more foundation videos in my series. And I will link the first two videos down below if you guys miss those. So yeah, again, like always, if you have any suggestions, your favorite foundations that are very natural skin like dewy hydrating, list it below. Let me know. I'm interested. But yeah, other than that, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.